Hello everyone, I'm Joe Bishop, Bishop Backwood Survival. Today I'm going to show you a little thing that you can use. Uh, called a camp bitch. It's basically a, like a oil lamp. Uh, what I got down in here is, this is a quahog clam shell. They're native clams around our area. Uh, you can find them on the beach. You can go dig them up and eat the, the, uh, the meat out of them. They're pretty good. You got to run them through a grinder a couple of times and a uh, piece of cotton and the stuff on the inside as well as left over from my supper had some ha made some hamburgers and let the grease stay in there and congratulate we put the grease inside of a container which is the quahog clam shell and you put your wick in it which is a piece of 100 percent cotton and you saturate with oil take your lighter And in theory, what's going to happen is that that flame burns. And I'll back up over here so you can see what kind of light you're getting off of it. It ain't a whole lot of light, but it's a little bit, and it'll burn down. And it'll get it'll get going pretty good. And uh, in theory, as that flame burns, it should pull, pull that oil up through that wick so it stays about right there. It shouldn't burn down much as long as it's pulling that oil up through it. And you can see it's getting bigger as it burns. They used these back in the days. The, the poor families could not use a, uh, you know, could not afford oil. So whenever they had like greasy, oily foods like that and you see from back here it's actually a better better light now Native Americans use these also uh, they'd take rocks and get depression rubbed out in it use clam shells oyster shells anything that hold the the fuel and the fuel being that uh, grease that was left over from the hamburgers uh, There's a lot of good uses for, you know, grease. You just gotta, you gotta figure it out. And yeah, you know, we, we, we're right here in Florida during our hurricane season. And uh, I really don't prepare. I mean, I, I treat it like normal, like every other storm. I have, uh, I have everything runs on electric in my house except for my stove and it's gas. So, you know, like if a storm's getting ready to hit, I pack my ice coolers down full of ice. You know, if my power goes out, I, I take anything out of the refrigerator that I'm not going to eat, and hopefully it ain't down for more than a couple of days. Uh, last storm we had last year, it was down for uh, uh, like five days. I didn't lose no food. I just packed up my ice and you know kept my ice cooler cooler full. Uh, we got power back on, got the refrigerator back up and running, and I threw everything back in it. But because we didn't have power, I used candles and I used a couple of these that I had some, you know, grease saved over. Does it make your house smell like hamburger sometimes? Yeah, it just makes you hungry a lot. So uh, this is another little tool, backwoodsman tool that you could use. I'm Joe Bishop with Bishop's Backwood Survival, and uh, like I said, if you ain't practicing when you don't have to, when the time comes where you actually have to use it, you're not going to be able to. So y'all get out there and practice and have a good day.